<laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Chris and Jenner with an actress, Kathy Najibi, right there, having a little bit of fun in New York City. Yes, please welcome the great Chris and Jenner. Wow. You said, no, no, you definitely want to start a little lower. I mean, some funny lines right there, Kristen. We just, just, we were, we auditioned for Cats. We didn't get the, any of the parts. None of them? Not one? No, no. And I've auditioned for, soon you'll see my audition for Hamilton. I've auditioned for Wicked. I did not get it. What? Yeah. I, mm. I've been auditioning because I'm, I'm, you know, I've been a little bored. <laughs> got a little time. I got some time. Got a little time. I like that you pointed out you're both witches, of, of course. course. Wicked and Hocus Pocus. That Do you was like nice. what we did there? I like what What's you did there. What's worse is at the end of that, and I know we have a lot to talk about, but at the end of that, we find out that we're actually at the music. The Cats was at the Winter Garden for 35 years. Yes. We then find out that the Music Man is there. So we're like horrified because we're not <laughs> even at the right. Yeah. Not even at the right theater. No, right. You've got to be having so much fun. I feel like every time you come to our show, there's so much happening in your life, so much love yeah. in your life right now. Look at you glowing. <laughs> How's it feeling? What are you talking about? Right, hello. Congratulations. Whoa. Can we get a shot of that ring real quick? <laughs> Mariah Carey said what? <laughs> Jeez, that, congrats. How are you and your uh, fiance doing? Brian, you know, correct? Yeah, jo jo well, I Josh. Well, I like that you call him Brian. Jo because that's actually what we call him, Brian. But it's yeah, Josh. Yeah, his last name. Yes. Um, like Josh I call Bryant. him Evans, Bryant. <laughs> exactly. Um, we met at my niece's wedding. He plays a lot of country music, and, and he had a band at the time called Backroad Anthem. Mm -hmm. And their band was playing at my niece's wedding, and that's how we met. So you oh, met nice. in person? We did. Romantic. And he is younger. I, I, I want to say this because I want to speak to all people who date people who are younger. It just shouldn't matter mm -hmm. if you find your person. There it is. There oh, it is. Oh, you guys look cute together. Look at that. But what I love is that you found Thank each you. other in, with all the apps and the uh -huh. online dating old and, the, way. and the, you know, the. Oh, it's almost like uh, almost as old school as uh, the courtship. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's right. oh, <laughs> I can't believe you said that. He said to me that night. He goes, "I want to court you," and I was like. What are we in, 1930s? Uh -huh. I, I'm busy. I don't know. And he goes, Where are you going to be next weekend? I said, Boone, North Carolina. He said, And he came to see my show. And no then way. We went to the Waffle House afterward, and that was it. Wow. What the Waffle House? And I'm not being paid by the Waffle House. And so that first date, Sparks flew, or yeah. was it like a slow burn for no, you? No, it was. I kept fighting it because, again, I was never going to be that girl, runaway bride, all that stuff. Right. I'm so independent. And for some reason, I thought that would take my independence away, but no, he hmm. celebrates it. He's independent too. Mm -hmm. He has own life. You guys, you guys and come we, together yeah, and exactly. join forces. Exactly. That's awesome. Congratulations on that, uh, Kristen. Again, Thanks. and Thanks. I just wanted to talk about switching gears real quick. You recently um, co-starred in Apple's acclaimed musical comedy series Schmigadoon, which <laughs> is the best <laughs> title ever. Now, for those not familiar, obviously it's a take on Brigadoon. Yep. Has there been rumors that there might be a Schmicago? Schmicago, <laughs> which would be fantastic. That's Schmacats. really funny. Schmacorus line. I cannot <laughs> confirm or deny. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's it's got to feel good though to to be a part of a show uh, that has music at its core yeah. that's being received the way that it's being. I mean, you've got uh, uh, um, Ariana DeBose already. Who's get ready to win? You know everything. Don't you think? Oh well, yeah. I, that's my vote, but that's my also somebody that I mentor and love. Death becomes her. You've been teasing. You've been teasing. We just did a reading a week ago, so we'll see. Is it true that the Meryl Streep character, I think, is the one that everyone is talking about? Is that, is that, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yes. How did oh, it feel? Did you nice. really? Oh, yeah. It felt great. I just like to keep busy. Keep it moving. Mm. Yeah. Got to keep it moving. On mm -hmm. top of all that, you've got two new books. Yeah. In addition as well. <laughs> just first busy. Up, tell us about your first picture book. Okay. I'm walking my rescue dog, Thunder, named after the Thunder basketball team, because I'm a basketball freak. Oh, Thank Oklahoma. you, Russell Westbrook, for leaving. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> back to Thunder Pup. I named her Thunder. I rescued her. Mm -hmm. I'm an adopted person myself, and the book ended up being about it's called, How, What Will I Do With My Love Today? And it was mm. during the, when the pandemic first hit, and I thought, what am I going to do with myself today? That mm. part. It evolved into this book, and it evolved into how we rescued each other, really. Do, don't you feel like, in particular with rescues, that they just kind of know? Yeah. You know what I mean? They're getting another shot that, they, that you yes. are. So, look, I mean, come on. It's sleeping in the luggage. <laughs> that now, that's right. probably how we would travel <laughs> with mine. So cute, this little dog, too. Oh, little face right there. I li literally gnaw on her paw. Anyway, that's another show. <laughs> Sorry. What do, you, what do you remember about the first time y'all met? My car drove itself over to a rescue place and parked. I had nothing to do with it. Huh? Uh, I was like, why is it parking? I get out and I was like, ma'am, hi, I need a puppy that I need to train because it needs to become a service animal because I live on a plane. I really want a hypoallergenic. She goes, this isn't Wendy's. <laughs> like, I don't get to order. Right, right. And Pull I was, up to the rescue. Yes, and then she goes, but there is a dog that's right here behind me at the desk. And 
the dog's name at the time was um, Hershey, and we never say that name, Hershey, because I don't want her to ever recognize it. Right. But she said, I think might be the dog for you, and she said, Hershey, and out comes Thunder, and she came right up to me, and wiggled, and literally my, I mean, literally. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hershey's going, why is she calling me Thunder? <laughs> I know. <Right. laughs> Still, Look, after four years. Like, thunder Hershey's is like, who is Thunder? <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll go, but like, <laughs> exactly. girl, we got to talk about name. this. <laughs> that ain't my name. Now, that's not to be confused with this other book, right. My Moment 106, yes. Women on Fighting for Themselves, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Which is basically a compilation of stories? Yeah, I'm so honored to get to share it with y'all. Yeah. Because... Y'all are, are strong, awesome men, and um, it's kind of been a, a time for women to be strong, awesome, kick-butt women. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's lots of famous women in the book, but there's also very special stories of, of new people that, you've, that you don't know. Mm. And my story, I've never told it from start to finish. I'm actually very nervous about it. It really? being read, I'm still uh, not scared. It was, it, it's been based in fear, you know, of being afraid to tell it. But now it's going to be told, and it's going to be told from my view. Wow. And I'm happy about that. A good feel, tease. feel empowered by that. I, I feel hope. empowered. And also, therefore, when you feel empowered, then you're able to forgive. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Then you, sure. you forgive. And forgiveness is the best gift to give yourself. It really and is. then you can love a little truer. Right. Amen. Preach. You know Let's I mean? all preach. Let, you know what I'm saying? Like Let's you all can, preach. You can love a little truer. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, you're right. I'm, I want to know because when, when you get engaged, I've never been engaged myself, That's but okay, I imagine. There's... It's a lot of gifts. <laughs> I imagine it's a lot of gifts. We right. have a gift for you as Ooh. well. Yes, we did. We did not make a donation. We wanted to make a donation to you and your home with your partner. <sighs> Listen, a little candy machine. Oh, no. <laughs> because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that you are a snack queen like we are. I love it. You gotta so put much. coins in it to make it work, though. Yeah, it only it. only takes coins. You have my favorite hundred grand. Oh, those are good. And I'm not being paid by them either. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And Oh, can I? Oh, these are coins. Yeah, I see. you gotta put coins yeah. in there, otherwise Let's it won't work. Let's see what I get. Oh, there's uh, music. Well, I don't... It's broken. We're gonna make sure it works. <laughs> By the time you leave, we'll make sure it works. <laughs> Evan's got that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got the receipt. I got the receipt. <laughs> Kristen Children's book, What Will I Do With My Love Today, is available right now. Be on the lookout for my moment. 106 women on fighting for themselves to be released later this spring. Uh, All right, up next, we're going to show you how to get the most out of your food budget by turning leftovers into a delicious new meal. Stay with us. Let me find that receipt real quick.